It's an abandoned lecture hall. There's a safe containing some valuables. However, the place is crawling with blood flies. Safe code is six, three, two. Okay. Does it actually show me? Welcome. Uh, don't worry. We are perfectly safe in my shop. Yeah, I bet. Uh, I bet we are. Again. Hmm. Do I want to? Uh, how many? Uh, how much of everything do I have? I have three runes, so I can upgrade some stuff. Those are all pretty good. Totally don't remember what I was going to upgrade, so this is very unhelpful. <laughs> Doesn't that figure? Mesmerize seems kind of cool. No, go go away. <laughs> Windows, dang it. Um, let's see here. Far reach, maybe. Primary means of transmission. Maybe if I go with that, though. <clears throat> the decelerate is pretty cool. Or I can go dark vision and just upgrade dark vision. So there's the see objects in security systems or visualize enemy routes. You know what? Let's do it. Done. Done and Take dusted. Uh, gonna quickly just say in case. Wait, why? Man, I got the hiccups. Oh, that gets into his shop. Welcome, welcome. Have you heard? I'm told they robbed one of our shops. I'd like to see them try it here. I don't know what you're talking about. <clears throat> Can I actually? Uh, no, I, I don't know why I just hit that. Also, we need to hit that. Like, clearly, I can reach through. Oh, oh, I did see it. <gasps> I did see it. Okay, so if we... Boop. Wait, is it... Oh, no, that's just the lean thing. I can't quite get... Okay. Look, I don't want to rob another shop. That seems useless, right? But what does he have in there? Let's just take a, <laughs> take a look. <laughs> what the heck is that? Welcome back. Please, take your time. Oh, man, look at those. One day, man. One day I might come rob you. We'll see. Anyways, uh, in case you can hear rain, this, like, torrential downpour all of a sudden. So that's what that is in the background, if you can hear it. I doubt that you will be able to over the game sound and over me, but in some cases where it's really quiet, you might. Just a heads up. Right. Where... Where is the... Wait, I thought there was one, like, right over here. These are all far away. I thought I heard something when I came over here. I guess not. <clears throat> well, I guess we can just hop into here. And take a look around. Oh, hey, that goes right to... Oh, I didn't think I could, I could have used the door. But I'm a weird person, so I used the window. <laughs> what if? That's all I'm saying. So, the Royal Conservatory is over there. Oh, there's information in here. Person above me. Okay, it's blocked. So I have to go in from above, I think. We'll just use my hot dice. <laughs> That's how we'll do it. That door may be... It's like a... Something in the air here. I don't know if I trust that. Can't loot that painting. Hmm. Okay, so there's a patrol. What is this? A roof of some description? It is. It's like a patio. That's two guards. I have five shots with this. So that could be an option. Is there another one over there? Oh gosh, this is bad. Is he going to come this way? What if we just... Oh, 
Um, That worked. That worked really well. Let's just put her body over here. Let's take a look around before I go back that direction. Uh, that, that actually worked far better than I was expecting it to. I was expecting one of those to see something happen to the other one, but, but apparently not. that I want to loot him I want to be really kind of careful about this oh he doesn't have any loot so we'll just leave him there for the time being I doubt that I actually need to do anything to him right now because there doesn't appear to be anybody else up here this is that room I was just oh that's right okay so that's the gotcha we're, we're, we're on it we got this is there anything in this building there does not appear to be so and this just opens up that goes upstairs but it's a dead end and there's nothing else here so we close that oh interesting is this wind powered so essentially i could turn that off And they all seem to be really confused about that fact. <laughs> but that's fine. Come into here. Here's the thing is I don't know if he is good or bad. So let's just blink into the room. That may wake him up. Okay, yeah, he's definitely asleep. So let's take a look around the house. Because he won't wake up anytime soon. At least on his own. And if we... Oh, this is a full map. Okay. Where are we? <laughs> this does not help. Curator Ashworth's office. Number one. Okay. Number two is the lobby. So that's the... Th okay, so one... Number two is the lobby on the first floor, which goes to six, which is the stairs to the lobby. And then four is a elevator that goes up to level two. And on level two, there's a second level of the lobby. There's also a Roseboro prototype over here. That also goes down a basement, the elevator, to the archive, back to the stairs to the lobby to the delivery entrance which might be our way in but finally that goes up to that third floor and fourth floor as well third floor has the has Ashworth's office fourth floor looks like some kind of roof what was that mission clue Brianna's out where she is the top floor of the royal because you look over the main hall that's where you'll find her cool can I play this without him? Oh, hey. I can't pick up the grenade, but... Interesting. He's trying to be prepared or something. Well, I'm glad I disarmed it. <laughs> what the... Brianna Ashworth, curator of the Royal Conservatory. For a while, I believed Ashworth had some connection to the occult in Karnaka. Something is happening that I don't understand. The overseers are the forward face of the Abbey, but equally important are our sisters from the Oracular Order. To be direct, I suspect something is wrong within their sect. Subtle changes to the types of proclamations they've been making. Small but troubling deviations from tradition. But publicly saying anything along those lines will get me accused of heresy by my rivals within the Abbey. Is it possible that Ashworth has infiltrated the Oracular Order? So Vice Overseer Byrne thinks Ashworth is interfering with the Oracular Order. If true, it's another reason she has to be eliminated. Interesting. 
No, to the Overseer. Overseer Ogbar and I should be back within a few days. Continue to compile information on Brianna Ashworth's acti activities despite the odd letter we received from our oracular sisters in Corello. Col Col Arrow. Colero. There we go. It's not uh, like them to issue a proclamation without certainty, but I know I'm right about Ashworth. My gut tells me she's a threat. That said, the Howlers are my priority. This conflict with Paolo could affect our influence in Karnaka for years to come. Yours in the strictures, Vice Overseer Liam Byrne. Interesting. I also saw this here. Uh, oracular Order Divided. A representative from the Sisters of the Oracular Order in Circonos paid a surprise visit this week to the officials at the Grand Palace, delivering a message that calls into doubt the Order's formally held position of the on the illegitimacy of our new empress, Delilah Caldwin, it seems that there is an intense disagreement between the sects of secret, secretive organization. Hmm. While not f a full reversal, the visit to the Grand Palace prompted the following statement from Duke Luca Bell. It pleases me that the sisters of the oracular order have come closer to endorsing our beloved empress, Delilah Caldwin. Her recent and valiant coup is an attempt to... I don't know if you would call any coup valiant in any way. I mean, I guess in some degrees, a coup can be a good thing, but 90% of the time, coups are bad. Uh, her recent valiant coup is an attempt at restoring just rule to the Empire. And I advise the Oracular Order and the ever-stubborn Abbey of the Everyman to immediately embrace Delilah as Empress, accepting her wisdom and authority. We thank the Oracular Sisters for delivering this vision, and we call for a day of celebration. Meanwhile, Vice Overseer Liam Byrne, speaking on behalf of the Abbey of the Everyman, advises restraint, saying that the latest missives from the Order are being interpreted and debated. Are still being interpreted and debated. Interesting. I like this, because it all kind of, like, it's it's perfectly tying into correct. It's all tying into perfectly the story of what we already have going on. Of like, is Delilah faking it or something? Dude, that is cool. The reflection on that thing. It's a pretty game. It really is. It had its performance issues, but those have gotten better. And now it's just a gorgeous game just like the first game take all that stuff there's nothing in there check his bathroom why he's keeping that in his bathroom I don't know make sure he's not doing anything weird in his tub like bodies which he was not what are you hiding in your closet buddy nothing okay no loot in here it's all good So I could go out this way, or I could just go back upstairs because there's one more thing I wanted to take a look at. If this is actually a place to go, or if this is just coolness. Yeah, it looks just like a way to get above these guys. So that that is the way over there. Now what do we got? We got nothing below me. We have bone charms there. Okay. Let's quick save, shall we? I don't know what you're talking about. Nobody did a thing. But let's get that. Hmm. Well, now I can safely get over there, right? But what is this? Can I open this? Locked from the inside. Are these all locked? Hmm. <laughs> this is the NPCs. <laughs> Top up here. This appears to just be a vantage point, which I'm okay with. Can I actually get onto the roof? I'm a little surprised that I can. Interesting. And that's where I came from, right? I believe so? 
Or is that just another way around? Oh man, did I just like discover an entirely new way to get through this? Here, let's let's Batman for a second, right? Let's let's do some scouting. So we have that there. That's how we get through that area. This bone charm is legitimately in this building right here. Is there a way into this building from over there? Potentially. The other option is to go straight into there. And is this the building I'm looking for? Because that's just to the Royal Conservatory. That's the shopkeeper's associate, which is way over there. Okay, so let's hop up this way and let's just go take a look around what's over here. There's that, which appears to be some kind of piece of paper that I do want to go read. So let's go do that real quick. Come on. Look at all that. Uh, leave Karnaka, Rapallo. When you, rec when you receive my letter, I want you to pack a bag promptly. Leave within the hour of reading this and stop worrying about all the terrible business in Karnaka. Stay with me in Segunto for a month or two, and I'll feed uh, I'll feed you until you're fat. We'll have an excuse to shop once a week to get you nice things in larger sizes. You know, I bought a dozen of those fancy rugs from the Weaver's Market, and you'll join me at my tiny manor, and we'll put them to good use. Whoa, my. Oh, my. See, here's the thing. It actually kind of feels like we found an alternate route. Because I don't remember any of this. What is in there? It might just, yeah, it might just be a closed window. We have some description. So let's hop up here. Which will allow me to go this way. I do want to check this uh, porch. Not porch. Balcony. It's like right here. Are any of these open? Because there's that right there. There's also one over there. Oop. That was close. Let's try that again. Let's back this up. I could go right over there. Aha. Uh -huh. Should go explore that way. We should avoid these people for now. And... Interesting. Do you want to be a servant all your life? You're always talking about leaving Karnaka on a big white boat, never to come back. You spend your days polishing silver cutlery. Come with me, Beatrix. Let's leave. Could we really get passage on a ship? What if they find us? You know I'll protect you. Just like when we were kids. Wait, what's this? I promise. A quick save. Why are these all glowy? Is that just like a weird effect? No, they do have some weird outline to them. Interesting. Condemned due to... Really? I... Okay, so the blood flies, I mean, they're bad, but they're not bad that, that bad. We're coming out. Last time I left it open, someone left a hagfish in my jacket pocket. Can I actually just... Boop? That was kind of dangerous. I should give that a once over. Disarm that. Yeah, I'm not seeing anybody. What is that? It's a book. Wait, is this a, uh, this actually kind of feels like an outsider shrine. Just leave that there. Well, the rune is up there. Oh gosh, it just scared the crap out of me. Oh, geez. Oh, oh gosh. <sighs> I need a minute. <laughs>